Hi guys, it's Sabrina and today I want to show you how to create this super cute mouse. I'm super passionate about nature and animals and one day I was hiking and I saw a mouse. For this project we are going to use an Autodesk Tinkercad. Let's get started! Step 1. To create the body of the mouse we combine some elements from the geometric library of Tinkercad. Drag into the workspace the paraboloid and half sphere. By default they have the same dimension, so combine them, rotating them and moving them using the arrow keyboard. Group them together in the end. Now we can resize the body. To resize it keeping the ratio, press shift and use the adjusting points. Drag into the workspace then a box and align it with the middle line of the body of the mouse. Then resize the box to make it wider and higher than the body and make it as a whole. Group the elements together to create a flat base for the body of the mouse. Step 2. To create the ears, drag into the workspace a cylinder and then make it thinner. Rotate it and apply it to the front part of the body. Play with the dimensions of the cylinder to make it proportional with the body. Use the arrow keyboard to move the ear until you are happy with the composition. Then create a copy of the ear using the combination Alt and Drag and move the second ear on the other side of the head and group them together with the body. Step 3. To create the eyes, drag into the workspace a sphere and resize it keeping the ratio. Apply it to the mouse's face moving it using the arrow keyboard. Create then a copy using again the combination Alt and Drag. Create another copy to make the nose. Apply the nose to the front part of the face of the mouse and change the size and the shape of the sphere, making it oval. Step 4. To create the tail, go to the Shape Generator library and drag into the workspace the extrusion. Notice that with this element a control panel appears on your screen. Play with the points of the shape in the profile section of the control panel to create the shape you want for the tail of the mouse. Move the points and the handles until you are happy with the result. Make then the tail thinner and apply it to the body of the mouse, rotating it in case you need. Make sure to merge the tail with the body to obtain a single element to 3D print. Tinkercad automatically saves your projects while you are working, so now you only have to download your STL file and upload it on kirakira.com and share with the community. Thanks for taking my class guys! Now you can upload your file on kirakira.com and share your creativity with the community. Don't forget to order your 3D print directly on our website. Bye guys! See you next time!